Salam alaikum and uh, good morning, everyone. Um, again, like I said, I mean, the experience is, is amazing. We've learned a lot during this uh, COVID period, how to use technology. Um, but of course, there's something about in-person meetings that, that makes this uh, ever more so special. So again, um, it's great to be here with you today. Um, and uh, HSMAI Rock 2020 is an event that we've all been looking forward to. It's uh, kind of the right moment for us to uh, start talking about what's next. During this past few months, we've actually learned to embrace technology much more than we had ever imagined. Luckily for us, we work in a very dynamic industry. We've learned that we need to be agile, whether it's seasonality, year on year, month on month. We've learned to adapt based on the changes that are happening. During this uh, pandemic, of course, it was uh, something that was unprecedented, unplanned for, something that none of us expected. It was uh, something that impacted the globe. But it was great to see how the industry pivoted and really used it as an opportunity to bring in their experience and bring in the know-how and be able to set the foundation that will help us build from then onwards. So I think it's, it's very important to thank um, the hoteliers and the hotels uh, in general for their efforts and their work. From our perspective as a destination, of course, for us, again, it's something that we wanted to focus on, which is let's first make down the first phase of uh, the pandemic. It's let's make sure that we can secure and make sure that we are looking after the well-being of all the individuals that are residing in the city and also the guests within the city as well. So that being the first priority, we need to thank the government for the efforts that they put in place because that gave us, again, a very solid first step. What we did from a marketing perspective at Dubai Tourism is we started to look at all of the key segments, the key markets, source markets that we go after, and we wanted to ensure that we maintain a constant dialogue with them. So we rolled out a phase strategy which um, helped us communicate with our fans and um, the loyal guests of the city as well. So the first phase We've launched a campaign called Till We Meet Again. And the main story behind that was to show the world that we're standing together, we're in this together, and it's a message of solidarity. So as you guys are locked up at home, not knowing what's happening, what's coming next, we too in Dubai, sharing beautiful images of the city, but empty, showing them that we miss you too. What we also did was, is we started using data a lot more, and we've been doing this for the past few months. But again, during the lockdown, we uh, started to put a lot of these new um, strategies and plans that we had, we really started to put them into play. We built relationships, of course, across um, uh, the different industries from uh, different partners, some of which are sponsoring the event as well. So we started to implement a lot of that into our activities. So as we started to see the search go up, the first campaign went out into 48 markets in around 22 languages. And we were focusing on, again, just sending out a message of, of, uh, with sentimental um, value. But gauging the interest and where that was taking us helped us launch phase two, which was um, ready when you are. And that phase of the campaign is when we started to see that people are starting to search more about the destination. They started getting a little frustrated of sitting within their confines of their four walls, and they wanted to go out. They wanted to explore what's beyond COVID. This cannot be uh, their future. So we started to start seeding in um, content that was related to what life was like pre-COVID, giving them uh, a bit to imagine, a bit to dream about what's coming up next. And then we rolled out the, the final phase of, of our current uh, campaign, which is the Live Your Story. The whole idea with this was, of course, to show people that, yes, there might be a new phase, which is the new norm, but life will have to go back to norm again as soon as possible. We started to work much closer with the industry. We started to have a lot more meetings with the industry as well. We started to slowly, slowly roll out the events side of, of uh, Dubai's offering as well. Having a hybrid model is something that we talked about for quite some time. But again, the pandemic gave us an opportunity to really put it into test and put it into play. And I think that would be an important part of what the future holds for us as well. 
But again, technology, uh, meeting people virtually, something we've all done, has helped us quite a lot. I personally have had a lot more meetings during this period of time um, with individuals, even within, within the wider team, within Dubai Tourism as well. But at the same time, there's something about personal connection and personal meetings that will still need to exist. So creating these hybrid moments might actually be an important step, but it will not take one away from the other. Also, during this period of time, to make sure that people realize why Dubai, we started to focus a lot on highlighting the efforts that were done by the city as well as uh, the country. And that helped us achieve the uh, safe travel stamp by the WTTC. And also during that period of time, we worked very closely with uh, DED and Dubai Municipality as well to create our own set standards for the next phase. And what we did was we introduced a Dubai Assured stamp, which gives people the confidence. So when they visit any of the facilities that fall within the remit of these three entities, if they see the Dubai Assured stamp, they know that these people are meeting the highest level of safety and hygiene requirements. And it's not about achieving it, it's about maintaining it. So the inspectors visit these sites regularly, at least uh, once every two weeks at a minimum, to ensure that these standards are uh, being met. Also during this period of time, we introduced two new programs. Um, one was Retire in Dubai, which can really help us, um, A, retain a lot of the families who Dubai is their home. So that's, that's an important phase for us, but also attract a lot of um, new residents to the city. And the other program that has been um, quite successful for us is the virtual working uh, program, which again is attracting new people to come to Dubai to work from here, but also enjoy what Dubai has to offer um, in terms of the facilities, whether they want to conduct businesses or meetings, or even as a stay um, for them and their families as well. I want to again take this opportunity to thank HSMAI for being one of the first in putting this event together and bringing people uh, together because it is about getting back to norm. And I wanna thank the team that has been behind this to make this an amazing event. And I wish you guys have an amazing, amazing rest of the event as well. Thank you so much.